guys, it's Mommy. And I would really appreciate it if you like this video to click like. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, click subscribe. I have a lot of videos that you might have missed, so check them out. Bye bye. Hi everybody, it's Mom Lady. And today I won't talk about quite the controversial subject that I did yesterday. Uh, some people disagreed, but uh, I have found several sites that say uh, that in 2017 they have decided that, that uh, raw bones are dangerous for dogs, but, you know, you do what you want to do. Uh, so anyway, today I want to talk about, uh, have you ever wondered? Is your, could the animals be left pod or right pod? I have, uh, I've got a dog that refuses to shake hands with the proper paw. So I always thought maybe she was left pod. Well, the short answer is, and this is research, folks. Yes, they can. Like humans, many animals tend to use one side of the body more than the other. Uh, the term laterally, lateral literally, also refers to the primary use of the left or right hemisphere of the brain. The two halves of the animal brain are not exactly alike, and each hemisphere dis differs in functions and anatomy. So, in regular terms, the left hem hemisphere controls the right side of the body, and the right hemisphere controls the left side. Uh, lateral literally, I hate that word, is an ancient inherited characteristic, characteristic and is widespread in the animal kingdom, in both vertebrates and invertebrates. Uh, humans tend to be right-handed. Lefties or southpaws make up about 10% of the human population. And believe it or not, it's more males than females are left-handed. Uh, great apes show similar hand-handedness partners to humans. Most chimps, for instance, seem to be right-handed, but not many studies have looked into a non-primate animal. Uh, there is some evidence to suggest that dogs and cats can be right or left paw, although the ratio seems to be more evenly split than in humans. And it isn't clear whether they are sex differences. Uh, if you're a pet owner, you can do an experiment which Paul does your cat or dog lead with when reaching out for something or when they tap the door, you know, uh, to open it. Uh, to test your pet, you can place a treat filled Kong toy directly in front of the dog and see which Paul he or she uses to hold it, you know, hold it while they get the food out. So, like, if they use the left one, well, you know. A dog may use either paw or both paws. So, you need to test it several times. Now, with a cat, you can use a food puzzle, which is simply a jar with some food in, in it or treats and see which paw they use to get the treats out. Um... And, you know, do that several times again, and keep notes to which one they're using the most of, and you'll find out. And that is it for today. I did not know this, and I thought maybe there were other people that didn't know that you could have a left-handed or a right-handed uh, pet. So uh, this is uh, research wrote in September uh, of 2017 uh, from the conservation conservation.com so you know uh, apparently they're proving it I love you guys be sure to subscribe and I love my fur babies and bye bye